in the whole Breve side. Commentary on a sunny afternoon in Worcester came from the former Ireland wing Tyrone Howe and Johnny Hammond. Another penalty to Worcester and the referee just rightly just keeping his eyes on the players. It is physical out there. Just saying the ruck was formed and their, their hands in the ruck there. First chance of points this afternoon. Clean through the uprights. An excellent start. Johnston. And to Cohen. He's looking for the wraparound ball, but it's not worked out that time. Run out, no tackler. Territory very much in the favour of Breve. Talai comes over the top, and referee says it's fine, and off goes Black. Good got a hand in there, but it's Marcel Garvey, and Garvey has a clear run to the line. It will be the opening score for Worcester and Marcel Garvey. Well, we thought that it would be an enormous loss with Kai Horseman leaving the pitch. But Natani Talai, an immediate impact, got his foot across right through the ruck, disrupted the ball on Peja, and quite simply, Rooster were quicker to react, quicker to respond, had a few players around the ball, all the brief side were spread out over the pitch. And Marcel Garvey will not have much of an easier run in than that. Breathe that time going forward. Talai picked up and was very strong on his feet and needed to be. Now Rawlinson. Latui. Can't get away this time. Jones tries to get around. Gudo he has. Leads the offload. And Worcester have scored again. It's Pat Sanderson, the captain. Clinical is the word for Worcester at the moment. You just see, I'm sure good here. He needs to make that tackle on his opposite man. That's a great pop-up off the ground. And perfectly said, Sanderson's the Lincoln attack, doing exactly what a good number seven does. But you have to say, Andy Good needs to make that tackle. Jones should add the extras, and he does. 17 points to three. Substitution being made. Andy Good Crouch. is off. Touch, pause, engage. Hearing permanent replacement. Scott Spedding is on. Came onto the bench this morning. And there he is, immediately involved in the action number 21. Just hearing that Andy Good is injured, but perhaps his face told a different story. Here's Ben Johnston. Oh, he's gone through black here. Johnston looking around for support. It's Manta. Foges slips. Now breathe. Can they get something here? Before half time. Cook. It's bedding. Oh, lovely angle from Van Ziel. Oh, he's back on his feet. Just dragged down by Talai. The Brief still have possession, and now they have a try as well. Well, if you wonder what Brief can do with a bit of good possession and quality skills, this is exactly it. And this was a try of absolute class. Passing between forwards and backs, kept composing the ball and the real moment of class came from the replacement Scott Spedding Talisson slashes off that left foot Spedding really has picked up the tempo from this brief side they were out very early for the second half obviously some choice words being said at the break 
and this breed 15 have responded so far this is exactly what we expected to see at the start of the first half. It's taken them 40 minutes to get this tempo and also the precision. The pass is sticking, men in support and finding gaps and supporting each other. Betting. Ronnie Cook. Oh, he stepped. And Breve have started this second half with a bang. Second try for the South African. A try either side of the break. It's just a terrific, terrific spell of play. There were numbers up here, equal man in defence, but just that half yard on the inside of Matthew Jones. A Worcester have the penalty. It's Popper who's penalised, not rolling away. So Jones, 47 points in the Premiership. Just over 60% kick success in that tournament. This is first game in this tournament, can't add to the Worcester scoreboard, but it may just turn out well for Worcester. It has, the referee has awarded the score. Grove has chased this. Brief did not deal with it. The Sun may well have played a factor and that is an extraordinary try. Absolutely amazing. Tom Wood, he's holding on to the ball. Yeah, he's got that, hasn't he? Tallow, who came on early in this game, the injury to Kai Horst with a back injury. So that was going to be a big loss, but Tallow has done some excellent work, Rasmussen. Again, trying to free the hands, trying to get the offload away. And there's Sanderson again, the link man. Grove just has a look. Benjamin, oh, he's away. Rico Gear is there. Brief desperately trying to turn this ball over. And there are about 10 brief players in that, in that five meter channel, so there must be space out wide for Worcester if they can get the ball out there. Rasmussen, he's seen that space. Darren Morris. Flicks off the tackle, Grove, Marcel Garvey, Garvey, Marcel Garvey, try number two, and doesn't he just love scoring tries here at six ways? And there were so many brief players in such a narrow patch of the pitch, you just thought if the ball stayed alive and got out there, they had to score. But here we see Benjamin did so well, stepping inside. Bit of a missed tackle there as well. But it was all about getting the ball wide and keeping it alive. You see Darren Morris, crucially, keeping the ball alive in the contact there. And Garvey just glided in. Makes yeah. it look so easy. Funny little drop out. Had its strange moments, hasn't it? This game, Alex Rove try won't be forgotten easily. Busser has a good pass from Thompson in front of the man, but a little bit too much in front of the man, and that rather sums up Breeze' afternoon. There is the final.